A welcome fit for a hero more than 70 years in the making. Today, the community of Chester welcomed back Lieutenant Richard W. Horrigan. The Army Air Force pilot was killed during World War II. Now his family can finally lay this brave man to rest in his hometown. It's almost chilling to just think about how great it is to bring this man home. The blare of sirens and the roaring of engines signaled the arrival of an American hero. When one of our fallen in West Virginia is KIA, he needs a hero's welcome home. Army Air Force First Lieutenant Richard W. Horrigan is home. This man died in action in one of the, the greatest wars that our country has ever fought in, and uh, it's it's an absolute honor and to be able to bring this man back home. Lieutenant Horgan was a pilot and was killed flying a reconnaissance mission in Germany in April of 1945. He was 24 years old. Circumstances in the years after World War II prevented his remains from being recovered. Finally, last year, Lieutenant Horgan was officially identified. We have a, a very large group of veteran population in Northern Penn in West Virginia. And when stuff like this happens, we come together no matter where we're from and we show up and make sure that he comes home. And that's, that was our job today. And that's what we did. Lieutenant Horrigan's remains landed at the Pittsburgh International Airport and were then escorted in a procession to Chester, led by law enforcement, the Upper Ohio Valley American Legion riders, and members of the West Virginia and Pennsylvania Patriot Guards. This is a great honor for the city, for the people, for the post. And I hope it's a great honor for his son and family that's coming here to see him buried. And now the community in Chester gets to pass on their thanks for Lieutenant Horgan's sacrifice. It's just a great thing. And it's a shame it took 77 years for him to, to get all this done. But at least he's coming home now. Lieutenant Horrigan's funeral is on Sunday, and it is a private service for his family. However, the community does have a tribute plan to escort him to his final resting place.